Did you think that she looked like a prime minister? I mean, I I haven't uh, watched this afternoon's forum. I'm afraid I've been working in the constituency. And clearly, I'm not here to criticise other candidates. Um, I you know like Liz. I admire Liz in many ways. Uh, I just think that uh, Rishi is the stronger candidate to be our next prime minister at very challenging times for obviously our party, our country, and for that matter, for the world. OK, so you've decided, Mike, not to join in on the blue on blue attacks, um, which I know Ben Wallace was urging everybody yesterday to refrain from it. But looking at another 10 MPs who come out in the last 24 hours for Liz Truss, looking at the polls, and I agree they can often be unreliable, it does look very much like Liz Truss is going to win. Do you accept that or do you still believe that Rishi Sunak has a chance? I certainly don't think that's a foregone conclusion, Nigel. I mean, I'm, I'm perhaps you're not quite as cynical as me, but I think, you know, whilst we obviously love all of our colleagues dearly, I think some of them may have uh, other other motives, perhaps, for coming out and backing the person who's currently seen as the heavy favourite, rather than necessarily who they think would be the best best leader or prime minister, or necessarily who they're actually going to vote for when they return uh, their own. A ballot paper, because what we're getting when we're ringing round our members and particularly our councillors, and these are people we know are Conservative Party yeah. members, we know that they have a vote rather than the people who we're talking to uh, some of the opinion poll uh, firms, is that it is very, very close and there's still a very large number of undecided uh, voters. So I think there's still everything to play for over the next uh, three and a bit uh, three and a bit weeks, and obviously we're All working right, hard no, to make enough. sure people understand why Rishi should win. Rishi does appear to have done quite a few U-turns during this campaign. Uh, no, I, I don't think that's uh, true. I mean, obviously there are some some comments that are being compared to what he said in December last year, February this year, and of course things are different to uh, in many ways to where they were then, and so there are some decisions that have been taken purely because the facts have changed now compared to where we were earlier in the year. But I think Rishi has set out a clear and consistent vision for where he sees the economy, getting control of inflation, because as Margaret Thatcher knew, only when you have sound money and you've uh, got uh, control of prices, they're not spiralling out of control. That's the only way you can get the economy growing. You can bring taxes down and actually allow people to keep more of the money that they've earned, so that if you just try and have large reductions in personal taxation at a time when the economy is already overheating and inflation is already uh, very high, you just see yep. prices spiraling further out of control, and it's all wiped out within uh, within months, if not weeks, by uh, by the reduction in the value of the money people have.